Hey everybody, this is a very specific topic and it's actually answering a question for somebody in my class, but I figured I'd post it in case somebody else found it useful. So in this case, the person in the class wanted to have this character in their scene and fade away. And thanks John Ford for the tip on this. A way to do that is to bring in your character. So let me bring in my weirdly named Timmy character gets imported. Yeah, I could have changed the name, but whatever. Um, this is just a quick demo. CH09 non PBR. I'm going to import just for a T pose character. So once you get the character imported and dragged into the scene, ignore all that. So here's Timmy. And Timmy looks fine. Let's look at the material. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of the material. So I should duplicate it there and open that up. So when you import, Unreal tries to hook up the right textures to the right slots. While we're here, we should probably fix this a little bit because technically this texture here for glossiness shouldn't be going into metallic, but really should be going into roughness. It's kind of the opposite of roughness, where a glossy value would be one. For example, the bill of the hat there is something that they're saying should be pretty shiny. If that was roughness then that would actually be dull so we need a one minus node so that the ones become zeros and your zeros become ones etc to reverse that it will plug that into roughness and alt click to disconnect it from metallic that's gonna be a little more proper and this is specular to specular and normal to normal but all that's fine that's not gonna help us and what we need to do with make the character fade away for that we need to open up this parameter here called opacity mask. Now this is a way to do it. There's other ways to do it, but this is probably the quickest and easiest. So if we look at opacity mask here, it is grayed out. So if you select your main material here and go to your blend mode opaque, that is why it's grayed out. You want to switch to masked, then that will open up the opacity mask input. Then what we need is a, if you hit tab and type dith to get a dither temporal AA node, and wire that into your opacity mask. And then as an input, let's go ahead and set up a parameter. Right click and choose promote parameter to get a node kick out right there. And let's move this over here. And let's go ahead and rename this fade. That'll be our fade control. And because it's a parameter, we'll have access to it in the sequencer. So for now, let's also set the default value to one so that it is not faded. And we'll see what this does when we get it in the sequencer, but for now, go ahead and save your material. And we can close this. And let's throw this on Timmy here. And then if we go ahead and I'm just gonna do it messy here and add a level sequence, double click to open it and throw Timmy in here. And if you want to get to that parameter, you need to go to add a track for your skeletal mesh. Then for your skeletal mesh, you add the, we only have one material, but you add the material that you want access to. Then you go to the material and you grab our solo parameter that we made available called fade. Now you can see here's the value. This is a value of one and then set our fade value to zero and the character fades away, right? So then hit play and your character fades away. And of course, you know, it's animation. You can bring him back if you want. Go back here and bring him back. So he fades away and then comes back on. So that is a way to deal with how to make your character disappear.